Hey guys, Mark Farashi, Protect Dog Training and Zeki. I've got a toy out today that's a small little cushion and it's kind of got an angle at it so you get the dog's mouth to be open. And the thing about this is that it's really a, kind of a slick jute, not jute, it's the uh, linen that they use for the suits, but it's, it's just the way they've got the, the pillow set inside and the stuffing that makes it a little bit hard, but it's a soft and the dog is not going to have the tendency to be able to bite and keep his hold. Okay, it's going to slip. All right, so Zeki has what we call a soft mouth. He comes in and he bites, but he, he's not biting hard enough and it slips, right? So I'm gonna show you how I use just play with the animal. I'm gonna try to do this without somebody filming me. It'd be better if I had somebody tracking me and filming me because I'm gonna be pretty active out here. But I wanna give you an idea of how we would try to get this set. Now, when a decoy does the work and he gives the dog the bite, he'll present the sleeve and the dog will come in and bite and right away they set back tension. Okay, so think about this. In the, in the whole world that I live in, when I do personal protection, I don't do sport, so I don't really, um, my whole upbringing was mentored from a gentleman out of Vietnam, right? And so they had a whole different uh, concept really relating to the dog's um, real natural tendencies to hunt game and to pull that game down. If you ever think of the pack going after a deer or cow, whatever it may be, they're bringing down their game. They're going to come up behind it, behind the, the animal. They're going to try to grab it by the throat. They're going to try to grab it by the haunches. And, and so prey running away from them stimulates them. It's a very natural thing, right? So this whole body profile has to be presented properly to the dog. And I'll get into this another time. I actually would probably be giving a lot of my secrets away when I work with somebody up here and I try to teach them how to decoy. I don't get into holding the sleeve exactly the same way and, and everything that they do in sport. I come at it a little bit more of a, a, a true application of where the dog's mental attitude is within the prey aspect of things. Prey, bite, uh, eat. there's a whole prey cycle that goes on, right? So I really relate to that prey cycle and I would have to get online and start studying a little bit to give it back to you because it's just kind of in my cranium and it's hard for me to remember exactly the, the stages that happen. Um, a lot of the stuff... I like to say that I've forgotten more than most people will ever know. <laughs> and it's kind of true in a way. I go through this stuff over the years again and again. So it gets lost in transit and all of a sudden it comes back. So we're going to try to show you this with me playing with Zeki. So let me get him off. Off. Good. Good boy. Good. We're going to put this off to the side. I've got the toy and he knows it. Oh, yay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is kind of keep it under my arm so I can do my ball drop. Good boy. Good. Good boy, which isn't the important part. What the important part is when I do initiate the game and I start playing with him, nope, we will want to um, keep taking it out of his mouth and building bite with how I'm working him. And I'll try to explain it. It's going to be kind of tough. But uh, the main thing is that notice it's got a nice handle here, right, that I can grab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to present that. He's going to bite, and right away, as soon as I can, I'm going to give a jerk away from him, and I'm going to get him to lose it. And then I'm going to tease him again. I'm going to get him to lose it. And I'm going to keep showing him that the game is all about him hanging on. If he doesn't hang on, he's going to lose his prey, right? And this is how you work with a dog with just you and play. A lot of this stuff can be done with play, right? Good, boy. good, good. Yep. Yes, good boy, good. Yep. See, right away, I pull it away, pull it away. Yeah, no, I gotta make him bite it or he's gonna lose it, right? Yeah, good boy, good. The other thing I'll do is I'll bring my hand up underneath his neck and I'll try to get him to under and support that neck so he has fun and enjoyment. I'll give him a positive underneath this neck. I'm praising. Good boy, good. Now he's biting. Now I can't get it away. So I wanna try to keep this up. Uh, uh, trying to the prey, trying to get away from him, right? It's gonna have the chance to the result of getting the dog to bite harder because he doesn't want to lose his prey. That goes back to the natural instincts of the animal when he's hunting and he's bringing down his game, right? Ah, 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 he's a good boy, good. So we're going to do this again. Good boy, good boy, Zeki. Now he's biting. Out, good, nope, out. So we have to be consistent with what we do, which is, see if I can get him to do this. Yes, right away I pull. Right away, I pull. Ah, good boy, good. And he starts to learn. If he doesn't hold on, he's going to lose it. Right when he holds on enough that I can't yank it out of his mouth, I go up underneath the neck and I praise and I support his neck. And I let him win by dropping. Oh, good boy, good. Good boy, yes. Good boy, good. And I will keep this up for about a week or so, doing this game with him so it's always consistent with me yanking it out of his mouth and then committing him to this and letting him a good praise underneath the neck. Good boy, good. Yeah, good boy, good. 
and the win, see, boom, he wins when he gives me the right behavior. And I'll keep doing this play and play with him until I build bite. I want him to crunch as fast as possible. Buddy, out, good. So I play a lot of this game. It's all also how I get a dog to high fly, which is what I call it when I get a dog to lunge through the air and to fly towards my chest. And that's a whole other issue that combines into this. All right, Zeki, Asi, good. Pablo J, no, Asi, good. Good. Zeki, good boy, good. Zeki, yes, good boy, good boy. Good boy. After a while, he'll start to learn that I'm always gonna yank it away. He wants to keep his prey, he's gonna bite harder. Pretty soon he's gonna give me that crunch bite right when he comes in. It's a little bit of an art, there's a lot of skill with time. I've been doing this a lot of years to get this. But after a while, uh, notice this. I can't get it out of his mouth now. Dog's got it. Oh, oh, oh. Good boy, good. All right, good boy. Out. Couché, couché, pas So that's a little bit how I build bite. We want a dog that comes in, strikes, hits hard, and right away crunches and grabs a hold of that. We want something that's going to accent him being all the way back to the back of his mouth and his molars to bite. This is what this is all about. It's a small little pillow. It's perfect for an adolescent dog like this. That's what it's all about. Zeki, opie, good. Yes, good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Sorry about that, guys. I lost my uh, mic. I'll talk to you guys later. Mark Farash, Protect Dog Training, if you're still with me.